The current version that we produce today is significantly different from the original prototype and the second prototype. Uh, it, uh, it has a stress skin aluminum fuselage. Uh, it's, it's much stronger. It's capable of uh, carrying more weight, uh, flying at higher weights of, of higher cruise speeds, uh, more range, and it, it flies nicer too. So the full enclosure wasn't in the picture when we started the program. We, uh, we didn't really think about an enclosure. This was meant to be an open cockpit airplane and uh, an enclosure just wasn't in the picture. But we realized that uh, the majority of our sales were in warm climates, uh, Florida, the southern parts of the U.S., California, um, and that if we wanted to broaden our appeal and sell in colder climates, we were going to have to come up with an enclosure. So the, the idea of the enclosure was that it wouldn't take anything away from the airplane uh, in that you could remove it quickly. So it had to be a convertible type setup. So we, uh, we went through, it was, it was a little bit of a challenging program to make an enclosure that was practical, that gave the same visibility you have open, uh, but allowed us to make it removable and retrofitable for the entire fleet. That was another goal that we had. So um, seems like it, it's working quite well. But the fact is most people buy the airplane to fly it just for fun. Because the, 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 the reason it's so good at aerial photography and filming makes it a lot of fun, it's particularly from the front seat. You have just you have incredible visibility.